today we're talking with lighting designers about some of our latest innovations, artificial intelligence in lighting control systems. And that's of course a fantastic opportunity for us to learn their feedback and understand their requirements for the market, as well as us to telling where, which direction is the industry going and what is the latest and greatest from Hellbar. It's important for me to understand what I'm talking about when I'm going to a client and then having the relationship with any, whoever I'm going with, whether it's Helva or any, anyone else, that I know that there's someone behind me backing me up if something goes wrong and then I can confidently say that this is going to work and we can deal with this. The feedback has been, has been excellent, so, so I think the, there is, seems to be an understanding in the industry that uh, Everything that can simplify the installation, that can make the user experience better for the end users is something that is super valuable. And I, I think uh, what we have heard today is kind of a sign that we are really kind of uh, making good progress on, on that front. We have a nice, nice solutions like Active Ahead, uh, what can be used already today, which uh, use artificial intelligence. But we, within the next two years, there will be more and more. So for lighting designers, who are quite often designing projects, which are not, uh, which, which will not be ready tomorrow, not even even after two weeks, but most probably after one year, one and a half year, two years, they should actually start knowing now what is possible and what these artificial solutions could uh, could create. Actually, I think most important thing there is that they can they can create better user experience for end user, and that's I think uh, should be the one of the main tasks for lighting designers. We would only work with sensors usually where they can detect the occupancy and then turn on. Whereas it'd be really useful to be able to predict that occupancy before it happened um, because that gives the user more comfort in the space. Uh, they know where they're going and they can see where they're going. 